All right, this week we are at Timberlake Villages Condos in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. And we're working on these two back decks. They actually run together. What they did was they knocked out the closet wall between the two units. They, both, they bought both of these units. And we're gonna make two different looks here. Over here is gonna be a pattern uh, called Ashler Slate Pattern with Tuscan Slate Texture. You know, we got some cracks to repair here. And this carries on out and around. A couple of spalls I'll have to repair. But this is going to be Ashler Slate. And it's going to be random squares and rectangles. That's what that is. Out here, this is just going to be Tuscan Slate. And uh, we're going to do a acid stain on it. But right now, we're this one had carpet on it. We're taking the carpet glue off. Uh, the other decks, we just had to grind down the texture just because it was very heavy. And it looks like there's a crack out here that has to be repaired as well. Yep. So that is what we have for the next couple of weeks. All right, so we have the uh, Ashler slate pattern down. Random squares, random rectangles, and it is uh, pretty busy. Not a big deck, got about 450 square, but uh, it's a really cool pattern though. Very time consuming to do, but uh, boy, it really turns out great when it's done. So we're going to do a uh, Tuscan Slate Texture and the top coat is going to be a light gray, lighter than what you're seeing here. And that grout is actually very dark, it's almost black um, once it gets sealed and hit with stain, antique stain. So once we get the texture on, light gray like I said, um, then we're going to do a um, antique stain which is going to be a light gray charcoal color. Uh, then we're going to come in and do some random squares here. We're going to actually come in and just kind of pick random squares to do, I think, two different colors is what we're doing. We're going to do a taupe and we're going to do um, an, another light gray that's going to be different than our top coat gray on this. So random squares will be uh, kind of breaking up this light gray throughout this pattern. So before we actually antique our random squares and rectangles, we're gonna have to go ahead and pull the tape, the pattern tape, and it's gonna reveal our dark grout coat charcoal color, which is gonna be our pattern, Ashler Slate. And we'll take and clean up all the little chips that are gonna be on top of this tape, because there's gonna be two coats actually that go over this tape, one coat tomorrow and then uh, the next day is going to be our texture coat. So uh, there'll be little, you know, concrete chips that we'll go ahead and clean up. And once everything's cleaned and ready to go, I'll mix up a couple of different colors of the antique stain. And we'll just hit, hit some random squares and rectangles here. Just, you know, to break up all that gray. Pretty much once that's done, it's ready for seal. Okay, we have our antique stain down. Paper is pulled along with all the stencil tape to reveal our pattern. These grout lines will be darker. Uh, they should be as dark um, as the uh, base coat that's shining through because that is the base coat. The reason they are not dark right now is because they have not been hit with any of the stain and all of the tile squares have been hit with the stain. So they've already darkened down um, so right now we're getting ready to actually go in and do some random squares, a, uh, a taupe color so that we break up this pattern, break up the coloring a little bit, just to add some more variation to what we have going on here. So some of these squares, I don't know how many because there's quite a few, but we'll come in and randomly just pick different squares and rectangles and there'll be a taupe color. 
Everything else will you know, remain the same color that it is. It already has good variation with the light grays and the dark grays, so they'll be left alone. But then after that, um, we're gonna let it dry out today and come back tomorrow morning and seal everything down. So once we hit everything with sealer, that's when you're really gonna see the grout lines darken up and the rest of the color on top will also be a lot more vibrant and pop really nice. Okay, we just colored in some random squares with a taupe color, which is our charcoal and uh, chocolate color mixed together to make taupe. You can see one there. You know, because we've got squares, rectangles, all different sizes. I just tried to make everything random. Tried to keep it in proportion with the size of the deck. So right now, the only thing that is left to do is to go ahead and come back in the morning, make sure this is thoroughly dry, and it will be really in the next probably two or three hours. But we're just gonna seal early in the morning, put two coats of our sealer on it, and set the railing. And this thing ought to be done. Some of the squares are very light in color, some are a little bit darker. But I tried to keep everything as random as I could without, I didn't wanna to do too many. All right, we have completed this job at Timberlake Village Condos in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. some of our random squares that we did a taupe color and you can probably barely see the taupe in some of these squares we wanted everything to be a subtle change nothing too drastic but you can see here and of course uh, right here another one here in there and we just did them very random tried to keep uh, different size squares and rectangles to where they were taupe and then just kind of you know randomized them throughout the whole pattern and you can probably see them here another one there
if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel, like the video. If you like what you see, leave me a comment. Let me know what, what you think of this project. Got any questions, leave those below as well. Uh, in the description are two links. Should be one of my Facebook page. Go over and check that out. More information there as well. And then uh, the other link goes to my website. Uh, a lot more information there as well. So I guess we'll see you guys on the next uh, project.